light and dark are not conceptualized ideas. They're actually two sides of the same coin. See, what they'll have you believe through the egocentric perceptive lens of duality is that it's light or dark or light, light versus dark, when actually they're one and the same because one cannot exist without another because it offers contrast to the dynamic force of what you call the cosmos or the universe. They're actually energies. They're not polar opposites because there's nothing polarized in the universe. There's no duality to the universe. But understand, understand this one thing. I'm not referring to duality. I'm referring to a dual nature. As water gives life, water takes it away. Fire gives life, fire takes it away. Air gives life, air takes it away. How does air, ta how does air take your life away? Tornadoes and hurricanes. You know, you're talking about an F6 that has winds in excess of 440 miles per hour. That'll suck the flesh right off your body. So that's how air takes your life away. Um, everything in this physical element has a dual nature, not duality. Duality is what you're programmed with. A dual nature is what these elements possess. Actually, there's no seasons. You know, there isn't winter, spring, summer, and fall like you think. It's just actually the changing of the moods of nature. But they've been given titles and labels and classifications, so everybody just follows it and goes with it. Um, but nonetheless, light and dark are not concepts. They're actually the same energy, just expressing themselves in a, in a dynamic transmission. Because one cannot exist without the, without the other in the physical. They, it's just a necessary element here in this low vibrational, low vibrational expression of the high vibrational form of consciousness. Everything stems from one. It's just expressing itself differently. As the earth is a holographic illusion, that's an expression of the divine matrix. You know, the divine collective consciousness. Construe that as the superset of which a derivative subset of that reality becomes actually what you see here, which is an illusion. And since you're programmed to feed the illusion, not only do you power this thing up, but they harness the excess runoff energy and they use it for things on their own original source home energy planet, where they're from, to create many things because you don't realize what you are. You have an ability that they don't. I mean, I've said this before. I really don't want to make too many more videos like this, but you have to recognize that everything in Nature and the earth has a dual nature, meaning water gives you life, but you can drown it, drown in it and die. So it has a dual nature, not a duality. Duality means polarization and dichotomy, lines and sides and war. That's why the, the, religious, um, the religious entities will say, your enemies, this is spiritual warfare and all that garbage they pump your head with. There's no enemies anywhere. Only when you try to attempt to peer through the blinded eyes of war, shall you perceive enemies, the existential threat, the invisible boogeyman outside your door. That's the garbage they pushed on you four years ago. It's always fear because it works so well every time on the human condition because human beings never change, unfortunately. Hopefully you guys will one day. I'm hoping and praying for you. I really am. You know, I, I really am. I have no faith in human beings, but I haven't given up hope, you know, that there's still an inkling of, of hope in your, you know, your kind that you can somehow break free from this third dimensional trap and break into the fourth dimensional, you know, plane of consciousness, which is the return to your divinity. Because the separation occurs when they make you believe that all there is is the physical. And that's your initial disconnection from your higher self when you come into this world. You are unconsciously indoctrinated into their illusionary world of lies and illusions, subterfuge. And in that element, they will program you to be an obedient robot. They'll tell you what you are, who you are, and they'll give you all of the narratives and the information and the paraphernalia and the literature and the peripheral ancillary support needed to back up and confirm what they're saying is the truth. So wherever you search in the system for answers, you're always going to find more of the same lies packaged as the truth because this reinforces the initial narrative written on your subconscious when you were a child. That's how the operating program works. So you believe you're a Republican, Caucasian, an American, you know, and it just goes on. It's all these, this infinite myriad of subdivisions that you're actually isolating yourself from your metaphysical environment 
and you're disconnecting from your higher self, drawing yourself closer and nearer and deeper and darker down into that matrix. That's exactly what they do. And then you have your pride. You know, you have your pride because you have to be right. Even if it means the total destruction of the planet, as long as you're right, that's all that matters. That's how they roll. Do you know that there's people that are still willing to vote for this guy? After everything that's happened in four years, they'll still support him and they'll still vote for him. Just to go to show you the lunacy, the insanity, and the ignorance of this world and the ego, the magical powers of the ego and its destructive tendencies and its destructive force. It, that's why the darkness preys on your ego because it's a perfect mechanism to facilitate the transfer of their nefarious machinations through that conduit into your physical density. And they flood the everything of that space you occupy with that energy that not only controls you and manipulates you and exploits you, but causes you to believe that you're in control of your own thoughts when you're not. And that is the truth. You know, and there's so much stuff. I could do videos like this for hours because this information isn't something I'm making up and I'm certainly not reading about it. It's being delivered to me from the divine through me to you. And I can go on for hours and hours and hours, but I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want to bore you folks because I know your attention span is very, very short because you're being programmed not to have any attention at all. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. That's why the long form videos aren't too popular. It wasn't that way seven, eight, nine years ago because there were no video shorts. I remember when video shorts came out, I knew right away what they're doing. They're programming you to have no concentration, no focus, no attention span, no patience, nothing. So if you don't have those integral elements, you'll never be able to create anything of substance in your life. You'll just be ping-ponging back and forth because when something garners your attention, you're going to be attracted to the newness of it, the novelty of it. But when the novelty wears off and you lose interest, you're onto something else. And this happens in seconds. You just see yourself scrolling, scrolling. Oh, that's cool. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, that's cool. Scroll, scroll, scroll. scroll, scroll. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Scroll. The... That's all you do all day. You don't stay in one spot long enough for anything to actually happen. And at the same time, you're projecting all of this stuff in a multi-directional wave everywhere in the cosmos, not just on Earth. You don't understand how powerful you are. But I hope these videos are getting you to understand that. But anyway, there it is, you know? It's the truth. Absolutely. You know, you just have to be the clean, clear, and precise connection to your own higher self that you not you don't allow any of this stuff to happen to you anymore. Because the energy that they're the 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 implant is the initial nucleus. It's like a seed of evil that's planted in the garden of your mind. And that, that seed will germinate and take root. And then your mind will go, okay, I'm going to work with you and start manifesting experiences that match that dominant vibrational frequency of that seed once it begins to sprout and, you know, infest everything. Because evil seeds don't flourish. They just infest. You know, absolutely. But anyway, don't allow that to happen because your garden is sacred and they don't deserve to be there.